Working with landlords, one of the questions I get asked pretty often is what are the rent prices looking like at this moment in time? In Toronto, rent prices typically fluctuate throughout the year. In general, if you are looking to rent your property out between April and August, you will most likely receive the highest amount of rent per month during that time frame. And the easiest way to look at it is the weather starts to get better in Toronto during those months. And when this weather is sunny, typically properties rent for more money. As things get colder in the winter months, let's say September through March, in general, you will see pricing decline a little bit and it's pretty seasonal year after year. This article on BlogTO mentions that Toronto is catching up with Vancouver as Canada's most expensive place to rent. And that makes a ton of sense given that Toronto and Vancouver are typically the hotspots when it comes to Canadian real estate and where people move to from other countries. The May 2024 rentals.ca and Urban Nation rental report just came out and it mentions that in Canada on average $21.88 per month for rents across the board and they use April data but this was a jump from April 2023 about 9.3%. Now taking a look at some of the most expensive cities in Canada to rent you have your top 10 Vancouver number one Burnaby, BC, number two, Toronto, three, Etobicoke, Mississauga, which are, of course, suburbs of Toronto. Surprisingly, Canada in number six, Scarborough, also a suburb of Toronto, Burlington, eight, Brampton, nine, and Victoria, 10. The next surprise for me on this list is Guelph coming in at number 11. Now, one bedroom in Toronto right now will typically set you back in and around that $24.50 a month, which is actually down 0.5% year over year. We have been seeing the activity increase as of late, especially for landlords when it comes to getting showings on their properties. I would estimate that this number will be closer to about 2,500 here as we move forward. That 2,450 is down about half a percent month over month and almost 3% year over year. There's a couple factors playing into the rent prices decreasing year over year. The first one was that we saw nine or 10 buildings hit completion at the end of 2023. And what they did was give a lot of inventory for rentals coming to market in all those buildings. And essentially they were trying to undercut each other's pricing because if there's 21 bedrooms available for rent in one single building, typically people will try and negotiate or at least try to get the cheapest price possible. And then once one rents for lower, the next one will follow after that. A two bedroom in Toronto looking in and around 3,200 a month down about just under 1% and down about 2% year over year. Etobicoke does have a good amount of condos, especially in the Mimico area, but there's also a significant amount of house houses for rent. Same thing with Mississauga, Scarborough, and Burlington. As mentioned before, the seasonality of Toronto rents is super important to consider. And while we're way past the 2020-2021 pricing when it comes to rent, we're pretty much in line with that 3 to 5% rental increase year over year, dating back to 2018-2019. If you looked at any of my previous videos, which broke those numbers down before. As we move forward, I would anticipate rents will increase as we go through the summer. We just literally received the first sunny, warm week in the city of Toronto that we've had in 2024. And what I've been noticing on MLS is that more and more properties are renting faster. And that's something that we didn't see going from basically January through a good part of April. As we continue through May, and we're about to get into the long weekend, in general, we will see rents pick up heading into the warmer months, especially as those newer buildings that we previously discussed have all started to rent out and bringing that inventory lower will definitely increase pricing moving forward. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below if you have been looking for a rental in the city of Toronto and what that's been looking like. And if you're a landlord, what it's been looking like on your end as well. I'm Michael Luzes. Thanks for watching.